let's do it again. <laughs> like, it's just one of those things that you really want to do again. I definitely want to. Okay. It's amazing. Right. Can't wait for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> reality TV in general. Are you a fan of reality TV programs? Um, this is probably my favorite one because it's not so, it's not so, I don't know, big brothery and all that mm -hmm. stuff. It's actually like you're doing tasks and the reality is how your reaction from it, not like a scripted or not like trying to put on a show or anything like that. Okay, so you've conquered the Amazing Race experience. Mm -hmm. uh, given a choice, is there any other type of reality TV program you'd want to take part in? No, I think this is it. This, this is, is it? my favorite. So and if, say, um, um, Survivor calls you tomorrow and goes, yeah, you want, we're going to ship you off to an island, you know? Would, would you take it up? I'd probably think about it, but no. Nah, if it was Amazing Race, I wouldn't even think about it. Just yeah. the fact that I have to think about it, it's just like, eh. <laughs> And how about like, the Bachelor, Bachelorette, not your cup of tea? Not really. I think Amazing Race is it for me. Okay. Well, obviously, they're doing really well. You know, after the Amazing Race uh, Asia Season 1, they came up Season 2, probably going to be Season 3 and a whole lot more. For those of us listening, thinking that, hey, you know, Paula did it and she seemed to have a good time. We want to take part in it as well. What would you say you need to have in order to participate? What, what would be your, uh, your words of advice? I think it would have to be personality. At the end of the day, it is a TV show and people have to watch you. So you should be entertaining in some way, whether you're going to be like the villain or if you're going to be like the one that everyone loves or everyone hates, whatever. You need to have like something that makes people love you for however you choose to be. So do you have a pick, do you have a, pick a role? Like, like uh, for instance, you know, a, a, a movie. Do you have to pick a role and stick to it or can you just kind of be yourself? I'm happy to say that I can be myself. Mm hmm and yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, and uh, endurance, a love to travel. Uh, all love to travel, always. always traveling. I'm still amazing race right mode right now. I haven't been in one place for longer than three nights. <laughs> also, being able to try new things. If you're like icky about doing something, eating something, then you, you're going to the wrong place because you're not going to get very far if you won't get out there and do it. I mean, there was a lot of times, you know, I was there to do something in a normal life situation. I would not do it, hell no. Mm. But like being there, you have to get past that because otherwise you're not going to go very far at all. So just being open-minded, doing everything and just doing as fast as you can pretty much. Can I just also say you have to have a good heart? I swear to God, if I had a bad heart, I would have died on that race. <laughs> do you know one of the most intense times is whenever every, the whole group is together again and they have to let you go. You know, mm. like if you get like stuck on a train or together just the times when everyone's together again because from that moment when everyone's caught up you're like starting all over again from go you know and it's just like <gasps> just the pressure it's mm -hmm. like amazing yeah here's another question though how important is uh finding the right partner for this i think very important as i'm sure you can see from our especially our season if you aren't such strong teammates that can kind of slow you down slow you guys down so definitely have someone that you can see 24 hours a day for a month or whatever, at however long. Any point in time you just kind of felt like giving up though? No. no. Not at all? Sometimes you do get a bit low, like if you're lost or if you're tired or something like that. But at the end of the day, like if you have a good teammate, you just support each other. Like me and Nat go through different times. And like if she's down, I like pick her up. Come on, Nat, we can do this. Or if it's me, she's like, come on, Paula, let's... How, did you, how did you prepare for this competition though? Um, Could you, can you prepare for a competition like this? Do you know what? You can run a mile, whatever, but if you're a taxi or if you get lost, <laughs> the fitness just doesn't come into that. You're not driving the car. I don't know. Like At the end of the day, I think it's brains and luck as well. Uh, did you have to memorize or learn different languages and all that? It's probably helpful, but usually you have time to do that. If you're on planes and stuff, you're like, whatever country you're going to, you just ask for like little things like, you know, just like, thank you, please help. Like yeah. just little pointers. It's okay. always good. So now that you've completed the Amazing Race, I guess that qualifies you to be a, to write a Lonely Planet guide or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. Well, the Amazing Race. Good luck in that. You Thank know. Thank you. Although Keep it's watching. We're still in. You know. Oh, definitely. You know. Last I checked, you were what fourth. Yep. And hopefully, you know, if they have an Amazing Race uh, Asia Champions Edition, you might be in that as well. Definitely. We are so itching for that. <laughs> okay. Well,